Welcome back to NASCAR Race 8, built by the Home Depot here in Talladega, Alabama. And of course, the Childress Institute was started by car owner Richard Childress in regards to pediatric trauma. And when you talk about Richard Childress as a car owner, he has done so much in the history of NASCAR. 40 years in the sport for Richard Childress Racing. So we decided to take a little gander over to welcome North Carolina, sit down with RC and check in with his four teams and how they're doing in 2009. So it's holiday weekend and all the kids. This weekend in Talladega marks 40 years in NASCAR for rich children. You know, that's a real accomplishment that that whole team's got to be proud of. Last week, you had the celebration of your 40th anniversary in motorsports. A lot of people don't realize you've been in this sport 40 years. How did that celebration go for you? It went great. Uh, we raised a lot of money for the Children's Institute for Pediatric Trauma, and uh, that was a neat thing about it. But I had a great day with the fans here. It was just a neat day all around, and uh, let the folks visit our museum. There's meant 40 years of history here. It even goes back further than that. As an owner, Richard, 12 titles, 164 wins. That's an accomplishment, quite a resume that you have to be proud of. Oh, I am, Wendy. It's, it's due to all the people, though. It, you know, I'm just one of the cogs in this big old wheel that rolls, but uh, it's all about the people and the drivers and the crew chiefs and our sponsors and our fans. You know, you can't forget the fans. I think the fans drive me as hard as anything is uh, knowing you want to go out and do good for them. Now, I'm, gonna, I'm sure you've been put on the spot when this 40th anniversary came around. What's your best memory or first memory that comes to mind in all your years of racing? It's hard to pick one, but probably that 98 Daytona 500, just because I know what it meant to Dale and meant to his career. and. Uh, um, the look in his eye when that race was over it was unbelievable. 2009 was not the year that RCR was looking for, but just as in the past, that organization will bounce right back. Jumping from the memories of yesteryear to the memories of this year, which you probably want to forget about, <laughs> there's ups and downs in our sport. Where does 2009 rank among those downs? Well, I mean, it's like peaks and valleys in life. You're going to go through them. Uh, and it's how you handle them and, and how you, when you're down in a valley like we've been this year and you look up and you can start seeing the top again and, and know that you're getting, that you're making progress and getting out of it. I would be a little bit frustrated for you just because I know how the rumor mills kind of been s swirling around RCR in the garage. I mean, sometimes you just want to walk away from the media. <laughs> well, you know, the thing, the thing that kind of really upsets me with the media sometimes. It's not that. When the media talks about our sport and tries to downgrade our sport and our competition and NASCAR, that's the reason we all have jobs. Tell it like it is. Mm -hmm. I believe in telling it like it is. But think about your sport. Try to do things to make the sport better instead of trying to always downplay the sport. That really is upsetting to me. You know, you can always, when something's wrong, Look at the bright side of it. Look at the things that you could do to say, hey, I, I bettered the sport. That's what I want to see. I think you just showed fans that don't know you well enough your passion that you have for our sport. Well, it, it's true. You know, you put the time into it that uh, RCR has. And, and knowing the France family and uh, your family's been in it for many years, uh, this is our livelihood. And this is what makes our country tick is people. Mm -hmm. And we need to have support from everyone. And uh, I'm just proud to be in NASCAR and proud to be part of it. And uh, it's kind of like if you want to jump on our flag, I'm going to be the first one to jump back at you. If you jump on NASCAR, I'm going to be the first one to jump back at you. It can be critical at times in this sport. Does it ever get easier for you? Has it gotten easier along the way? Not really. You know, <laughs> at times, you know, it's like this year. It feels like we've been racing 140 years instead of 40. Uh, but we're going to get through it. You know, what keeps you going is know that you're going to get better and know that you can do better. And uh, uh, I'm really excited about going into 2010. If you could look into a crystal ball, what would you want it to tell you about our RCR for 2010? Uh, that we are going to be contenders for a championship. You never say. You do. If you're a contender, you will win championships. And we've been a contender. People forgot that two years ago, Clint Boyer was a contender up to two races to go. Last year, Kevin Harvick, all three of her cars were contenders. Uh, and then when you get down, they want to kick you. They forget about the good times. Uh, 
But we can't live on what we did two years ago. We got to recoup from what we did in 2009. And we want to be contenders for that championship. And I think that was a good look at how Richard Childress is so passionate about our sport. Now, I have the front cover. This is Parade newspaper today, November 1st, 2009. I'm not showing you this because of Sandra Bullock, but here's what's interesting. This is how passionate Richard Childress is about giving back to the community. Look at all these celebrities and who gives big. You see Paul Newman, Angelina Jolie, Brad Pitt, Mel Gibson, and then Richard Childress. Below him, Oprah Winfrey. I mean, the list goes on. If that tells you anything about how passionate Richard Childress is about giving back to the community. They raised $170,000 that night for the Pediatric Trauma Center for the Childress Institute in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. It was a great look at 40 years of history for Richard Childress and what a great way to honor him.